If you guys are excited for Call of Duty World War 2 and want a chance to win a copy of the game when it releases later this fall, all you need to do is leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, and leave a comment down below. After you've done all that, you're entered to win a copy of Call of Duty World War 2 on your console of choice later this year. Yo, what's up guys? What is going on? Zach or Immortal here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. As always, today guys, we are jumping back into the world of Call of Duty World War 2 to talk about, well, something that's probably going to be a pretty hot topic all year long, that being supply drops. And there's something crazy that we found out about them today. But for starters, today guys, the servers for Call of Duty World War 2 actually went live. What this means is that anyone with an early copy of the game is actually able to now hop online and play online multiplayer matches whether that be in zombies or in multiplayer leading up till now there was only offline access meaning you could play private matches against bots and zombies offline but you couldn't play online but since those servers are now up people have hopped on people are playing online matches they're in the headquarters area of multiplayer they're playing online zombies all sorts of stuff is going down and with this we're getting a ton of new leaks and a ton of new information uh, sent out to the public and you know some of it's nice to have it's cool to see what we can get hyped about for uh, for Friday or technically Thursday night at midnight what well, we can all be excited to jump in and look forward to the second the game goes live but also um, a lot of people say you know it does ruin the surprise the leaks come out and whatnot so just a heads up if you guys don't want anything at all spoiled for you we are gonna be talking about a bit of a spoiler in this video regarding multiplayer and regarding supply drops so if you don't want to hear that and you want it to be a surprise you might just want to click away from this video right now I'm gonna give that heads up and fair warning to everybody but now there will be spoilers just just so you guys know so supply drops in World War 2 they were controversial when they first got announced but I feel like some of the heat that they had on them sort of died down once uh, Activision and once Sledgehammer said that they were going to be cosmetic only at launch but anyways with these servers going live today and with people having access to multiplayer and headquarters of course that means they also have access to start earning in-game currency uh, aka like crypto keys or whatever it's gonna be I'm not sure if they've announced that and if they have I don't know what it is off the top of my head but you're gonna have the ability to open supply Supply drops along with playing online and visiting headquarters and all that stuff and so the way supply drops actually work is really really interesting someone actually posted a video of it over on reddit now of course I can't show that video or any images from said video in this video in specific for copyright reasons I don't want to get hit with a strike or anything but I do want to talk about what you can see in that video because it's on reddit it's open for anyone to see if they'd like to go and watch it just go and look up the world war 2 subreddit but basically you open supply drops in the headquarters motor this was the way that was showcased in it maybe you can open supply drops from an actual menu too but this honestly actually looks like a really cool and really fun way to open supply drops you basically call in what I would consider a care package but rather than a care package it just drops down a supply drop you open it up you get your three items it shows them off but also and this is the major thing that is uh, just crazy to talk about not only do you get your three drops from your supply drop you also get 100 XP per supply drop or at least per common supply drop maybe if rare supply supply drops or even legendary supply drops become a thing you'll get more XP when you open it but as of right now if you go ahead and open a supply drop you get 100 bonus XP which is honestly really cool but also really controversial because I'm sure there's gonna be people out there who say you know then what if you can buy supply drops with COD points and you get 100 XP for every supply drop you open then at that point you're basically just buying XP which is 100% paid to win the higher rank you are the better weapons you get unlocked and the more perks you have yada 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 like that 100% I think is a faulty system that there's an issue with that my my theory is that if you can buy supply drops in this game with COD points which I'm 100% sure you will it's basically been proven that you will be able to at some point then the supply drops you open with COD points will not give you XP those will just give you your items and then you're done but if you open it up with crypto keys or whatever the currency is then you get your bonus XP in the supply drop however much that may be depending on the rarity of any given supply drop that's my theory of course we won't know for uh, for sure we won't be 100% certain until of course we can buy supply drops with COD points or with actual money but it's an interesting thing to implement into supply drops bonus XP let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. Do you guys think this is a good idea, a bad idea? I'm interested in knowing what you have to say about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, or if you're like me and you're just super, super excited for Call of Duty World War II, you're 
on that hype train, ready to hop off on Thursday night at midnight on Friday, November 3rd for the release. Slap that like button, give this video a big old thumbs up, it is much appreciated. And of course, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as well as turn on those channel notifications, that way you get notified every single time I go live in the future. Until next time guys, have an awesome rest of your day, stay happy, stay positive, and of course, don't forget to smile because you are never gonna regret it. Peace out.